Pulse Reflex Telephone Test User Interface Overview Pulse Reflex Telephone Test User Interface allows you to perform automatic telephone tests running standards-based test cases. The system is based on a set of measuring instruments completely controlled from the software. The system consists of an analyzer with two generators, a PC, a head and torso simulator called HATS, an audio amplifier and an interface to the telephone. The HAT simulates a typical telephone user's ear and mouth and the handset position of a HAT allows the tested telephone's handset to be mounted in the correct position. Before testing a telephone, calibrate the reference verification microphone. Calibrate the ear simulator and mouth simulators. Position the phone correctly in the cradle and then onto the hats. In this video, we will give you a tour of the telephone test software while performing a typical telephone test. Open Pulse Reflex, then select Telephone Test from the startup window. The user interface is designed to make telephone testing as simple and efficient as possible. It is split up into four typical tasks setup, measurement, analysis, and report. The project browser, Project Tree, is available in all tasks. A new test node is added to the project tree with a name based on the selected test standard. All test cases will go under this node with all measurement and analysis data. More than one telephone can be tested using an individual test case, and a test can have multiple test cases. The setup task has two main panels, measurement setup and configuration setup. The Measurement Setup panel allows you to define the test standard including which test cases should be available and the device under test. Select which standard you will use to test the telephone from the drop-down list. Also select the version of the standard you want to test to, if enabled, whether you want narrowband or wideband, and whether you want to perform all the test cases or just those that are mandatory for the standard. Select the device under test from the drop-down if that option is available in the selected standard. You can also enable or disable the volume control. The configuration setup panel outlines the test hardware components you are using. It is split up into four sections. In the transducers section, select the microphone you will use by entering its serial number in the serial number field, its name in the name field, or narrow your search by selecting a type from the drop-down list. You can only enter a serial number or name that exists in the Pulse Transducer database. If you cannot remember the serial number or name, enter a character, delete it, and select it from possibilities that appear. Then select the ear simulator you are going to use. In this example, we have selected the HATS Type 4158C microphone. You can also select which mouth simulator you are going to use. We have used the HATS Type 4128 loudspeaker. The other three sections allow you to define the network simulator, the network parameters, and the simulator gains and delays associated with your test. Once set up here, you do not normally need to change them again, unless a different network technology or codec is required. You can now go to the measurement task. This is where you set up and run test cases within a test session. You can monitor the measurements from this interface and control recordings. Test cases are configured and run in the Test Manager panel. Select a checkbox to enable calibration and or one or more test cases in the test session. Note, if you select both calibration and an acoustic test, calibration will be performed before testing. Calibration will normally be valid until the test environment changes. To view or edit properties, right-click the node in the Test Manager tree. 
To run a single test case, scroll over the node in the tree and click the play button. To run all selected test cases in the session, click the start button in the test manager header bar. Setting up the system for test may take a few minutes. See the status bar at the bottom to monitor the status. You can monitor the test session as the test is being performed in the measurement viewer panel to see whether it is producing valid data. Test status is visibly indicated via colored markers that appear next to the test session and test case that is currently running. A red dot means the test session or case was given a fail verdict. The tolerance mask was violated. A green dot means a pass verdict, that is, tolerances were met. A blue dot means that the test is currently in progress. You can expand the nodes in the project tree to see the data coming in. Click the pause button at any time to temporarily stop the test. To resume the test again, click the play button or press shift and F5. To manually end the test session, click the stop button or press F6. There are a number of test management options in the drop-down menu in the Test Manager header bar. The Append option lets you save extra results from several different runs of a specific test case, for example sending, in the project tree. This means that a number of additional runs will be stored in the sending folder, run 1, run 2, etc. This allows you to make a reference measurement, make changes to the device, and then repeat this process as many times as necessary. In this way, you can see what impact your changes have made to the device and compare old and new data. With the Overwrite option, all data in the test session will be overwritten when new data is produced by the test case. Another option available is the Record feature. This allows you to record the test and save the recording with the test data. You have to set up the recording before running the test session. Recording options are Never, Always, or On Demand, Ask Before Recording. The recorded time data can be viewed, listened to, and post-processed using Pulse Reflex Core. If you have a current license for Pulse Reflex Core, simply leave the data in the project browser and switch the application. We will now run and record another test session. Note the different sessions are listed as runs in the project tree. When you are done measuring, select the analysis task. This provides tools for post-processing of saved telephone test data in the project browser. Here, your data can be prepared for reports and further analysis or documentation. Simple analysis can be performed by dragging the data from the project tree to the data table viewer. For example, by selecting two sets of data, you can compare them in the display. To perform calculations on your data, including statistics, drag your data from the project tree to the scratchpad calculator. Here you can choose various operations, operators and operands to use in your calculations. To add the calculation results to the current report, click the Report button. This tool is also available in the Data Table Viewer. You can also export the data. Right-click on the data to export and select the export method. You can also import test data from previous tests or legacy software and systems in various file formats to view and analyze. 
click on the Import Data into Active Test Setup button. Then navigate to the previously stored data. Select and highlight the data and click Open. The data appears in the project tree. To view and compare, select the Analysis task and make sure the data table viewer is displayed. Then drag and drop the data into the data table. When you are ready to document all the test cases that have been performed, select the Report task. You could also select New Test Setup, then Create Report, then Document. Right-click on the report template you want to use and select Create Report from the drop-down menu. It may be a good idea to set up and customize a report template. Your new report appears in the report list on the right. You can also open your report in the project browser. For the 3GPP2CS00560 standard, the report will automatically be filled with test results. For example, you can check the verdict list, which gives an overview of the pass-fail verdict of each test case, the test requirement reference, and the measurement time. You can also see the sending frequency response curves and figures showing each test setup and a short description. For all reports, regardless of standard, graphs are by default live within the report. For help in using Pulse Reflex, see our Help Center in the software for online help and video tutorials. For more information, go to the Brulen Care website.